Well, good morning. Well, it's actually nighttime right now when I'm recording this, but it'll be Tuesday morning when this goes up. So, good morning. Did you guys see last week's video, the tray video? Uh, that, that They turned out very well. The video, I tried to make that video as short and to the point and direct as possible, which I got some feedback on that, which was really cool. So mission accomplished there. But it was an unexpected video to make because I'm trying to get these vanities done and I was getting later on in the week and I'm like, there's no way I'm going to actually finish these vanities last week. So I thought, well, wherever I'm at, I could try to make a video on whatever process that I'm doing. And I was really wanting to make one on actually making the doors, but uh, I didn't really get that far at that time. So I figured I'd make it on the trays and it turned out very well as far as uh, video content out of something that was, it really didn't take long to make. That was 45 minutes to take, uh, 45 minutes to make both trays and record them. So uh, that was a bonus if you ask me as far as just a quick little easy video to make as opposed to these vanities which have really been kicking my ass. Well, it's not that they're kicking my butt or anything. It's just, it's they're not for me. They're for a relative and I just don't really have that much motivation to work on stuff that I don't really want to make. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of been dragging on. The The build itself is, is a relative, relatively straightforward build, nothing too difficult. It's all straight cuts and just assembly, but it's kind of large and there's a lot of processes to it. And of course, recording it slows it down. So kind of been dragging on. Uh, I got a lot accomplished today, which is Sunday. And uh, no, today is Monday. I think today is, today is Monday. I got a lot accomplished today. And uh, hopefully I'll be wrapping them up tomorrow and delivering them Wednesday. Saw a bunch of pictures from Woodworking in America. I got most of all the YouTube woodworkers together. And that was very cool to see everyone together. And I really, really wish I would have been there. Would have been a lot of fun. But uh, unfortunately, I couldn't swing two trips back to back like that over on the East Coast. So uh, maybe next year. And I'm saying maybe because I definitely want to go. But depending upon the location, I don't know if they've announced it or not yet. I, I doubt they would announce it this early, but if it's anywhere near far onto the West Coast, like in California, I may or may not be able to go. I don't know if I can uh, swing a trip that far. I'm not a big fan of flying, so I'd have to drive. I hate flying. Thanks to all of you who stopped by last Tuesday on the live Q&A with me and Bob for uh, Brain Pick. And he's already announced the next guest, which is... Uh, Mark Spagnolo, the Wood Whisperer. So that'll be pretty cool. And he's told me the next couple of guests, and I'm not going to share them, but they're all going to be pretty cool. So uh, if you guys already haven't, check out uh, I Like to Make Stuff on YouTube and subscribe to this page. And you, can get, you will be caught up with all of those uh, future Brain Pick episodes. In a previous vlog video, I mentioned that I was going to uh, give away some of my duplicate tools, some of my tools that are just sitting there collecting dust and I'm never going to use them again and I'd rather them uh, be put to good use than just collecting dust. So I am going to give them away and one of you guys mentioned either in a YouTube comment or the website article comment, I forget which, um, to give them away to the viewers so long as you pay shipping for the tool. And I think that's a great idea and that's probably what I'm going to do. So starting maybe next week or the week after, I just got to get a couple things together and actually get the entire list of crap that I'm going to give away and probably just do, you know, one tool a week kind of thing on these vlog videos. Um, so I think the first one I'm going to do, this is that oscillating tool I was talking about. Just, it just one of them things that just vibrates back and forth and it's just a no-name brand, but it works and it works good. So... I don't use it though. I've got a, I've got another one, um, so that's probably going to be the first one. Maybe in a couple weeks. So look out for that, and that should be fun. Hopefully, some people can get some good use out of stuff that wouldn't get used by me. That's pretty much it. Don't really have much going on. I've been doing a lot of online stuff, um, just some kind of behind the scenes stuff as far as the online business thing, and I'm wanting to really change my website up big time and I'm trying to figure out the best way to do that and I think that's it. Back to the vanities real quick. The The wood that I'm using is just regular cheap pine. It's cheap pine plywood and it's cheap 
one by six, I think most of everything I'm cutting up is one by six by 10. It was the best, best price per board foot. So that's what I went with. And it's just cheap and bent and twisted and bowed. And I hate, I really hate working with cheap plywood. It really sucks. So this may be one of the last times I use it in a long time. I've had my fair share of screwing around with it. So let me go ahead and show you real quick the progress uh, that I've made on them so far. All right, so this is the progress. I'm making two vanities. One of them is 75 inches long and the other is 25 inches long. Now it's a bathroom vanity. So the sink obviously has to go in here. This is just a fake drawer and the two center ones in this one are fake. But the drawers turned out well. And of course, I've got the pull out slide things, which I think she'll like. Uh, this is, they're, they're being made for my cousin, my wife's cousin. So they're not going to be in my home. And it'll be the last commissioned project to make in a long time because dealing with somebody else's wants is way more hectic than just making a project. But anyway, all the doors are going to be, well they are, tongue and groove. And it's the first time I've ever made any tongue and groove joinery. So, no, I take it back. I've made one, I made one uh, MDF panel uh, tongue and groove banded. So I banded one panel with tongue and groove. But this is the first time I've made tongue and groove doors. And as long as you make a test piece, everything, everything turns out all right. So. Uh, I've got these ready to be glued up tomorrow and I've already pre-stained the panel that's going to go inside it, which I've got to cut this up into individual panels, but this is kind of looks like crap with no finish on it, but this is just quarter inch plywood and early American Minwax stain and it's just cheap pine plywood, so can't really make it look beautiful, absolutely gorgeous, but It'll do the job just fine. And getting close to getting these out the door, so getting very excited about that. But anyway, you guys take care, and I'll talk to you later.